Hi, my name is Jeremy Shines, and I'm a sinner. I want you to imagine a world where everyone thinks that they're right and thinks that they've never done anything wrong. And every time they see someone make a mistake, they laugh and point fingers at that person. It sounds like the world that we live in, doesn't it? Well, I'm gonna take a little different turn this time. And I'm gonna start off with this message and say, every mistake I've ever made When I read the Bible, it tells us about, damn, I just, man, I, I'm trying to, I'm trying to think of, I'm trying to make this perfect. I'm trying too hard right now. Shoot. I'm putting on a face. That's basically what I'm doing right now. I'm trying to give a good message in a short amount of time and I'm just going to be real, man. I, I'm not perfect. Sometimes I act like I am, but I'm not, you know. I've made a lot of mistakes in my life, and I still make mistakes every day. You know, I'm not good at math. I barely graduated. I don't even know how I graduated. Sometimes I have nightmares about it. I'm like, oh, did I graduate? I wasn't good at math. And sometimes I, I'm not even good at reading. You know, the only thing I really read is the Bible a lot after I had a personal encounter with God. Um, so, you know, I've I've watched porn before. I've I've done drugs before. I've done meth. I've done weed. I've done all kinds of stuff. I've had sex with women and men before, you know, and I'm ashamed of all those things. Um You know, I've, I've, I've hurt my spouse before. You know, I've made a lot of mistakes in life. I've been fired for, you know, lying and I've cheated and I've stolen before. Not just when I was younger, when I was older, you know, I've been homeless before. I've been an alcoholic for years. And then I remember I heard my first sermon. I walked into church, my wife, before she was my wife, you know, she took me in when I was homeless. And I, you know, I was, a mili I was in the military for five years. And uh, I remember asking myself a question. The question was, what's the meaning of life? You know, because because my life has just been so painful. You know, my my mom was an alcoholic, and I didn't grow up with the best of siblings. And my dad, he wasn't there in our lives when I was younger. The last time I saw him or spoke to him was like five years old. So what's a man supposed to be? You know, I got two kids of my own and a wife. So all the examples I've been shown were weren't very good examples. And you know, I had a lot of anger issues and I still do at times and a lot of jealousy, a lot of, you know, just bad stuff. So I went and lived in the world like most of you guys live in and I had my own encounter with God and I don't, I never met this man in my life who preached a sermon is everything he said was talking about me. I don't want you guys to think about, think of like my sermons, I'm just trying to here to judge you. I'm not here to judge you, man. I'm here to show you I'm human and I make mistakes. And uh, just felt like there was some place in my heart that was always missing something. Something was always missing, you know? I just felt like a failure. 
you know? I got DUIs, you know, I got in trouble. I got arrested. I've got beat up, jumped. I've got, you know, shot a gun pointed in my face. I've been like almost stabbed. You know, all these crazy experiences. It's just like life just sucks, you know? So you try to find an escape, escape it through, you know, drugs and, and alcohol or escape it through, you know, sex or whatever, you know? Just like, man, like I've cut my eyebrows out. Like they look like female eyebrows, dude. I'll show you pictures. To seek acceptance, man. Like who's gonna accept me? You know, my parents weren't there. My siblings weren't there, you know, I didn't, it's like on my own. Who's gonna love me for who I am? You know, it, drew, it drove me into, you know, buying all these fancy cars and stuff like that. Now those cars are old, you know? And I met God. And I started going to church and stuff and it kind of felt like the same thing, you know, like trying to fit in and stuff. And I'm not knocking churches. I'm not saying every church is like this, but it just kind of felt like people would just put on a face, you know? I'm not here to put on a face. Not anymore, man. I'm taking off my masks. I'm going to show you who I really am. I'm Jeremy Shines. I'm broken and I'm a sinner. And when Jesus came to me, I felt like if y'all know the story of Mary Magdalene, that's what that was me. I was at, I ran out of hope. I tried to kill myself a few times. Didn't succeed. It's just life sucks. It's nothing but suffering. You know, everyone's a bully, including myself. And sometimes I think that I'm just like, I ain't got no faults, you know? Don't look at my mistakes, look at this person's mistakes, you know, that's what I do. But come to realize, man, that's, that's what Jesus came here to the earth. God made himself into a man to save people like me and to save the world that needs a savior. You know, you ain't got to go to church to pretend you're perfect. Anyone can do that. Everyone does that. No one shows you their mistakes. Nobody admits that they're wrong. It's all about pointing fingers and making yourself look good and stepping on everybody else. But Jesus did the opposite. And he wasn't without, he, he never sinned. He did the opposite. He showed people how to love each other. Stop pointing fingers and accept one another. The more I draw near to Jesus and read the Bible, I was reading the Bible like a judgmental douchebag, <laughs> judging people with it. And I realized something started happening it's not the Jesus, that's not the Jesus that you guys get from church. It's not the Jesus that people act like in church. And I think he's showing me who he really is more. And it's, he came to save the outcasts. He came to save the broken people. He came to save people who would acknowledge they're broken. We're all broken. He came to save people like me. And if you're listening and you can relate, he came to save you. But the problem is, are we willing to acknowledge that we're broken? That we need help. And stop living in denial about it. And start to look inside of our own self and to look at our lives for what it really is. I'm broken and I need a savior. And I believe if you're listening to this message, you need one too. I stopped reading the Bible as a form of using it to hurt people, and judge people. I started reading the Bible looking at that I'm that cruel man that, that hurts people. 
I'm the, I'm the person that God is talking about that needs help. You know, I try to live that American dream in every country and every place tries to do that, you know. Sometimes even the churches do that. But I tell you, that's not the Jesus that I serve. The Jesus that I serve, he cares about everybody. But he shows his love and his grace to the people who acknowledge that they're broken and that they need a savior. He shows himself. So if you're willing to show yourself like I'm willing to show myself, Next time you think about, you know, pointing a finger at somebody, I want to challenge you because I've been doing this, is just to acknowledge your mistakes. And if you want to see God, if you want to experience him and his love and to feel that emptiness filled in, do it, man. Just God, I'm, I'm a sinner. I'm broken. And be honest. And be transparent with him because he already knows. You can't do that with the world. The world will beat you down for your mistakes. But my faith in God for why I'm doing this is bigger than what people will ever call me. I've been called all kinds of names. I've been, it doesn't even matter anymore. I don't care what they think because I know God loves me regardless of all my mistakes. And I know we all got mistakes. And we're afraid to show people who, who we really are because we, the world would judge us. The world being just people who don't know God. <sighs> and I just keep making mistakes and it's just God just loves me through them. And I've tried to think that church was about being perfect, but he's like, no, Jeremy. Church is about letting me love you through your mistakes. Even though you make mistakes, I'm going to love you through them. People may not love you through your mistakes, but I will. And it just, I could be myself. And I get to experience that and I go, why doesn't anyone know about this? That it's okay to make mistakes. That it's okay to acknowledge that they're not perfect. pride. We substitute acknowledging our guilt with knowledge, with, you know, possessions, with money, with all these other things. But deep down, we're broken. So I encourage you, acknowledge for knowledge, acknowledge who you really are. I know we're all broken and I know you're broken. And share that brokenness and watch God the real one true God heal you and help you and show you who you really are that you're more than just a mistake that you are eternally loved and all is well when you let go of trying to be perfect and let the perfect God with perfect love love you I thank you so much for watching God bless